All right, so Patreon has been a little delayed, but what we're doing right now is we're finding out if Honk is a mother or not. I'm really nauseous. I've been really nauseous the last few days. Then how late is the re the period? It's five days late. Okay. She took a plan B. When did you take a plan B? Um, I took a plan B when I was literally ovulating, which means you're like, they're not super act. They, um, if you take a plan B when you're ovulating, they kind of don't work. Oh. Oh. The more you know. Yeah. Well, okay, you guys. So, taking your old test, and we're gonna keep you updated. Do you see that line sneaking through? Oh, wait. Or is that just like a... I feel like it would, if it was, if I was pregnant, it would be super- Dude, it's coming through more and more. Wait. No. No way. No! So it's like you're half pregnant. Yeah. I mean, like, that's a line for sure. That's a line for sure. Dude, yeah. Because it's, it's coming through more and more. Oh my god, that's a line. Dude. <laughs> oh my god, mommy hug. That's not true. That's, that's not true. I mean, it's like a little true. Okay, it says it'll develop in, uh, did, wait, did you hold it under your urine for five minutes? I mean, sorry, five seconds? Okay, it says it'll fully develop in three minutes. Oh shit, Gab. Dude, it literally says if, um, Two pink lines is a pregnant result, even if the line is faint. No! Are dude. you serious? Yeah, dude. It says even if the line is faint? Yeah, dude. Oh, no. Dude, that's pregnant as hell. Any thoughts? Whoa. Whoa. What a way to start a road trip. And that, it was faint like that? Yeah. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? Faint line is like still a line, like a COVID test, you know? But I don't know yachty. what to do. Yachty. Yachty. It's really yachty, Shelly. So I, like, legit. That's two stupid. ass lines, bitch. That's two fucking lines. Not the hairs. Dude. Hey! How are we feeling? Not good. I like that your shirt says mama. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> hey, mama. Hi, podcast. Yeah, she, my, that's she my, getting jealous that she has to share her mom. That's my only baby. She's a mom. She's got a kid in her. And she's gonna terminate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Patreon.
Okay, so this is, well, this is all fucking crazy. One year ago today, I donated, no, one year ago tomorrow, I donated my eggs to a family who really wanted to have a baby, okay? I was in a relationship at the time with, the, with this guy that I thought was like the love of my fucking life. He broke up with me the day, he picked me up, this motherfucker picks me up from the hospital the day I donated my eggs. Breaks up with me that night, bitch. Sends me into like the worst depressive spiral I've ever been in in my entire life. Literally was suicidal. It was such a bad time. That was one year ago tomorrow. One year ago tomorrow. Last week I found out I was pregnant. I'm scheduled to get an abortion tomorrow, which is the day that I donated my eggs one fucking year ago and I'm in a new relationship as like a thousand million times better with somebody who's so fucking lovely and incredible but it's so crazy what the difference a year can make how am i getting an abortion the same day that i donated my eggs one year ago that is timing does that mean i'm supposed to keep it my kids are getting bigger i feel like shit the morning sickness is crazy I'm so tired. I can't believe women have to go through this shit. And honestly, like I said, I would keep a baby if I if I had the means to right now. I just don't, especially not with where my career is at. It's too difficult. I would love to, and you know, when I'm in a better place. My boyfriend is, I've like been with my boyfriend for five months. That's the other thing too. I've been with my boyfriend for five months. He's a wonderful guy. I was also in a relationship with my last boyfriend for five months and he broke up with me when shit really went down. So it's like, can I trust? Am I gonna have a baby with somebody I've been with for five months? Not yet. Let me know him for like another five months, then we'll make that call. If I get pregnant five months from now and my career is a little bit better, we'll have a different conversation. But, but for now, no, no siree. Okay, I'm on my way to get an abortion. I'm picking up Joy, Miss Grilled Cheese, for those of you who know her. Uh, she begged to come with me. She wants to take care of me all day. So I'm gonna go pick her up and then we're gonna go, we're gonna go get this little abortion. It's sad, it's kind of weird, but you know, not, not, not now. We'll, re we'll revisit baby in a year, but right now, I'm faking you. focus on my career becoming keen because my dad not me what not me watching hannah burner special right now okay we're on to our last part of the abortion i put <laughs> i wish i could talk about this on instagram by the way you guys like it's been so hard for me not to post about this publicly but i know it would make my boyfriend like a little bit i know it would make him uncomfortable and i'm trying to respect his wishes so, he better not fuck around because I'll blast the shit out of this abortion. Just kidding, I love him, he's great. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, here we are, the last four pills. Now I have to insert these babies into the sides of my cheek for 30 minutes, let them dissolve. And then I have another ultrasound next Monday to make sure everything is out. So I'll keep you guys updated during the process of this. Oh, I'll do it right. Hey guys. <laughs> not, not, feeling, not feeling so good today. Uh we're gonna do a we're gonna do a get ready with me um to take my second round of abortion pills. Now an hour before I take the second round, I have to take anti-nausea 
and ibuprofen. So I'm gonna take an anti-nausea and an ibuprofen right now. And then in one hour, I can take my second round of abortion pills. I'm every woman. <laughs> this is what it is. I'm every woman. Um, yeah, and then I'll be back in an hour to take my second round. You guys will see all of this in one video, but for me, in real time, I have to wait an hour. So, hope you're all hanging in there. Cause I'm everyone. You know what's so funny is that, like, I'm doing this and then, like, also having to be on OnlyFans. So I'm, like, <laughs> laying here, like, aborting a fetus. And then, meanwhile, I'm, like, also on OnlyFans having to like send pictures of my pussy and I'm like, yeah, I'm $80 to watch me come with a dildo. And then I'm like swallowing abortion pills. Life, life is, God is so good, you know? And then, and then on top of that, I'm like getting comments from guys on Instagram, like looking at my stand up clips being like, this fucking bitch isn't funny. So I'm like having an abortion, <laughs> reading comments about how unfunny I am and then also slaying in pictures of my pussy what a time to be alive you know I'm I'm happy to be here I'm happy to be here I'm every woman for a baby I'm praying to not have a baby <laughs> one more thing about abortion the crazy days, silly lies, the way you play with me like a child. When you still love me when I'm no longer young, beautiful. Not a lot of dough, right? Supposed to start bleeding soon. always afraid that I was going to be infertile you know it's like one of those things and I think I've talked about it on the podcast how like my biggest fear is that I wouldn't be able to have kids and then the first time the first time I like don't think about it and I just let a, my man come in me I get knocked up I guess I'm fertile this cramping is no fucking joke, you guys. Shit, bitch. Heck no. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. I had these things. My cheeks. My cramping has started pretty badly. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I think I'm supposed to swallow them. I don't know. I don't remember if I already said this, but yeah, I think I did. I have to go back on Monday and make sure that they got, that like everything bleeds out. Ew, dude. I don't ever want to have an abortion again. This <laughs> sucks. All right. Update, I just started bleeding. It hurts so bad. I'm like shitting and cramping and bleeding. Oh. Hello, Hawks. You know what's going on. Um, yes. This is our first, like, this is our first thing back. You didn't know that. Yeah, our first episode back we, since the big A. This is the big A. We recorded the main episode today. Mm -hmm. We're refraining from talking about it in any kind of detail publicly. 
for the sake of my relation. My relation. Um, and you know, it's like a personal. I, I don't know. On one hand, here's my thing with this whole thing. Is like I think it's really you know, abortion is such a taboo subject, mm -hmm. and it's very personal. And I think that like. I know that women like really benefit and men too really benefit from hearing about like people's actual um, experiences with abortion. At the same time it is a diff like if I could, I'd be blasting it literally all over social media. I've refrained because I'm trying to like keep it a little closer to me and for the sake of like- Y'all had a conversation and honestly, I'm, I'm gonna send you the transcript. I honestly think we should, maybe should cut a few things from the public. Really? I do. But it's your thing, so. Okay. But we'll, we'll lay it back. But on one hand, it's like, obviously it's, again, your body, your choice. Um, but I think there's an extra, I think I think that is sweet that you had a conversation with him about it. And especially because it is such a delicate thing. I don't even know if you fully processed it, processed it yet. You just went through it. I just went through it. I did it on Monday. I was giving you guys pretty much a play-by-play. -play. He, mm -hmm. um, he's a very private guy. And I'm a very not private guy. So, you know, you got to figure out what the balance is. Mm -hmm. um, but this whole thing, what an insane process. Um, it's so funny. It was like, dude, I posted, I remember the night I took the plan B was literally the day that he came in me. And I was like, for some reason, this isn't going to work. And wouldn't you believe it? Sure you were awfully uh, uh, ovulating. ovulating. If you take, and I'm sure you guys maybe know this, I don't know. If you take plan B when you're ovulating, it doesn't work. So then you go, well, then the fuck is the point of plan B if the only time you can get pregnant is during your fertile days? And if you take plan B during your fertile days and it doesn't work, the fuck are we doing? Also, it only works under a certain weight limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be like under 180 pounds or something for it to work. Okay. I don't know, man. So it didn't work. I, about three and a half weeks ago, I started feeling really sick, weirdly sick. Like I was really nauseous and I was like, this is, and I like sometimes get random nausea. So I was like, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it, it really got me when I stopped. Um, I couldn't drink coffee. I drink so much coffee. And yeah, that's really crazy. I know. And the craving for coffee like went away entirely. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? And I was like, you know, I was supposed to get my period. My period's never really late. But then I read, you know, if you take plan B, it can delay your period. So I was like, whatever, you know, maybe it's that. Um, I truly, I don't know. I, and then I, uh, I took a pregnancy test. My boyfriend and I went on a road trip. And the day before we went, I took a pregnancy test. And I took two. And they both tested positive. And I was like, oh, yeah, we posted that all in here. Yeah. Um yeah so that was a big fucking shock we go on this road trip bitch i'm so sick the whole time i'm so sick the whole time we're in utah it's so hot we're like hiking and i was like Whoop. i can't believe you were fucking hiking with a baby in you i can't believe i was fucking hiking with a baby in me. i can't believe i literally had a baby in me i know dude i can't believe i had a baby in me that was like the craziest shit the thing that was wild was that like you started getting bloated in that section and like it was just like maybe it was like right right after the big A, but like when you were like wearing that tight dress and like I could see I was like, oh my god, like I was bloated. You can I'm still see. I'm like still bloated. But yeah. Yeah, I um it was also so it's so crazy because I like I remember like a couple of episodes us talking about it and I was like he's bit. gonna get me pregnant. So be careful what you fucking say to the universe because the universe be listening, you guys. Well, and then we were listening back to the the last episode, the last public one we did, and you were like, "Yeah, I'm feeling kind of weird." I'm like, "Yeah, you're pregnant." Okay, anyways, and like I was just being a kind. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, because obviously I'm kidding. And you were like, "You're glowing." Like I, it's, I know it was. Surprise. It's wild, and it's like one of those things where you don't think. You know, I was like, I've always been somebody who's like, I probably am not like super fertile, or it's gonna be difficult for me to get pregnant first time. Bitch, a doctor told you you were super fertile. A doctor told me I had a lot of eggs. Isn't that tomato potato? No. You, wish. you can have a lot of eggs and not be super fertile. Um, so I was like, okay, maybe, you know, I'm not. And uh, it turns out, guess what, bitch, I am. <laughs> um, the decision was fairly easy to make. Like, there was no actual moment where I was like, I'm going to keep this. But there, really? there, yeah. But there are the moments when you're like, 
it does get a little bit confusing because you're like, but maybe like, do I? But like, I knew I wasn't gonna because it doesn't fit right now. It just like, there's, I've been with my boyfriend for five months. I love him dearly, but like my last relationship that almost like killed me was around the same time when we broke up. And you just, you don't know someone after. Yeah. And it's just like, I'm so traumatized from that thing still that like, I'm like, I don't want to, I don't know. I'm just like, anybody, anybody can leave you any second, anytime, anyway. But it was just like, this was all too like, no. And I was talking to my friend Annika who has her baby now and he's like one. Mm -hmm. And I asked her about it and she was like, dude, and she's been with her baby daddy for a couple of years and she was like i honestly wish i still would have waited she was like i mean i love my baby of course but like it is so fucking hard and she was like you should enjoy your relationship it's new like take as much time as you need there is no rush enjoy yeah. your relationship yeah and i was like shut up bitch mm -hmm. and uh she's somebody she's one of my closest friends who always wanted to be a mother and now she's a mother and she's like I'm f she goes, I'm good, fam. She's like, I'm fucking miserable. And she loves her baby. She loves, you know, of course there are so many great things about it, but she's just like, it's literally so fucking hard and you will have to like completely halt your career. But mm -hmm. then like my, you know, the other part of me was like, but it'd be so fun and we look for the plot and we can, ah. I do just like, I mean, again, this is coming from someone who's never been pregnant and who is not in a relationship, but I, I do disagree with that simply because, you know, granted they're in diff slightly different career fields, but I've had friends and they've done it as single parents. They've had children and just been like, fuck, okay. Where they just like made it work. But who's like a successful comic that's like a young, broke mother? Mm, not broke, but right when she was popping, Ali Wong was she, pregnant. But she had the rich husband. She like- She had, was also writing for TV. She was also a TV writer, right? Like, But she was, that was when her career was first popping. It was. And she said on a podcast, I think it was- I don't know if it was Mark Mirror, but whatever. Ali Wong said on some podcast, she was like, I was a little bit nervous. Like, oh, am I still going to be able to do comedy? How, how is mm -hmm. my stand-up going to look? And, like, her kids are still young where she just still, she t um, said that she takes them on the road with her. Yeah. But also, again, like, her husband, even though they're, well, now ex-husband, even though they're divorced now, that she he still is, like, always there to, like, help her with the kids. And so they still have, like, that family unit. Yeah. And they have a home cool. and they have money. Like, it for me, it would have been, like, a, such a difficult situation. It would have put a lot of strain on my life, my relationship. Like, he wasn't, and that was another thing, too. Is like he's not ready and he mm -hmm. really wants to be a dad but he was like right now is not the time and i was like okay and if he was a little bit more like you know i'm fucking i'm down i probably would have been like all right fine but because he was also like that this is just not an option for me right now mm -hmm. i was like all right i'm not gonna do that to you when i'm not even that into having a child right now and you're not jumping you're not frothing at the mouth Mm -hmm. to take care of a baby mm -hmm. so it was just like this isn't the time yeah. um and i don't regret the decision whatsoever yeah that well, that's great and i didn't like well and the thing is is it's like wild because like i didn't if i if i knew that i was going to keep it it would have been a different experience like i would have i think i would have like gotten more attached to it you know, like in that time, mm -hmm. but because I knew I was like, this isn't gonna happen, I like just detached from it. Even being a thing, yeah, I was like, this just like has to go. Um, and it's a wild experience, and I like, I don't know. It made me think a lot about like, you know, like because I started watching TikToks. I like looked up abortion on TikTok to see like women who had experienced it. By the way, like, don't give in. To the cuck shit that you see from some of these people like okay like so many what women being like okay like one year ago i had an abortion and i regret it every day and like that is your experience and i'm not like i am kind of shitting on the, their experience but <laughs> yeah. it's like that that is how they feel but i'm like that's it, it almost to me like feels like scare tactic -y. Maybe, or maybe they did it because their partner wanted them to abort it and they did. They really wanted the kid. And so maybe they haven't been able to let go. Maybe. I don't, I mean, some people do. No, oh, the porter's up. Uh, wife beaters. What are you doing, man? Oh, God, she's got a face shot. Dude. He looks like Rick Rubin. I know. <laughs> every the, homeless, every the, homeless guy does. The tethered version of Rick. Um, But, like, I don't know, because, like, some people 
do one of my friends had an abortion and she she's this was back in high school and she was like talking to me the other day about it actually and she was just because uh, i just randomly asked her i was like hey like what's going on and she, or she's pregnant now too uh -huh. and then she was just like i'm so happy i had that abortion but like sometimes i do think like wow could i have made it work she's like i feel like there's always a part of me that just mm -hmm. wondered like what if like there uh, it's been you know 15 years now and i still am not like hey she was like it's just she's like it's not like something that i am careless about she's like it, it definitely have, she's like it definitely changed me absolutely and I, and i don't think that it, i'm not saying that it's like Oh yeah, fuck it. Like, blah, blah. it was like I just I don't regret it, and I know, and, that's great. and I know that like there will always be a thing of like, oh, that's crazy. Like nine months from now, I could have had a baby. Right. Like a year from, I'll look back on this, you know, next year, and be like, I would have had a baby, like a baby by this point, and like that's kind of weird. But it's like it's not this. I guess what I'm saying is like, like I read these. I was like reading these things, and women being like. I always wonder who you would have been. And I was like sitting there. You gotta kind of move on a little bit. Well, I was sitting there like, and you know, with like this like clump in me. And I was like, I'm not, this doesn't even feel like a thing because it's not anything yet. Like this doesn't have a brain. Mm -hmm. It didn't have, I think it actually it gets a heartbeat at six weeks, but yeah, that's six crazy. weeks, five days. But it's crazy that it gets a heartbeat that soon. But it like, there's nothing, like, it doesn't exist yet. Like yeah. there's nothing there. So I wasn't like, no, oh, baby. I was like, this is just like, it's cells forming. There is not a spirit in there yet. Like, mm -hmm. it's just a science thing. Mm -hmm. And so that made me be like, I'm not really like, this isn't that difficult in that sense. And I'm, you know, if like you've had an, ex I mean, maybe other women I'm sure have had obviously very different experiences where it's very like taxing for them in that way. And I, it just like this. Well, it wasn't for me because I just was already. I knew what the circumstances. You made up your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and but I will say this: like after getting it done on. Okay, so I got it done Monday. I took a pill with the nurse, and then they gave me so it, that like stopped the pregnancy. And then you take a second set of pills the next day. And that was fucking horrible, mm -hmm. and I was like hemorrhaging blood. I was in so much pain for like six hours. I couldn't move. I couldn't move. You can't even cry. You're in so much pain. You're just like, <gasps> like feeling your body. And I felt like the next day, which was yesterday, I had so much weird confidence. Cause I was just like, bitch, like my body did that. Like and I can't imagine how women feel after they like give birth, like how powerful they must feel. But like, mm -hmm. it was such a weirdly powerful experience of being like, I fucking did that. Like my body is my body. It was like making me, it was making me like really angry, you know, at men, the whole experience in a way. Cause I was How just, much they take agency over our bodies. Absolutely. And how we are programmed. We were talking about this the other day about how like men will I feel like we're constantly being put under their thumb in a sense, sometimes in a physical sense, but mostly in a metaphorical sense. And especially with how like the government is always trying to put limitations on like our, our bodies, yeah, regulating our bodies and like, um, you know, not investing in our health. And there's still women's health is still years and years behind um, where it should be. And I just, I don't, it's, it is maddening and it is really fucking sad. It's maddening. It's like, and the women degrading. that are degrading, it's degrading. It's, I don't know. It's like, and it's so like deeply unkind in a, in a sense too, but I don't know. While I was going through it, I was fucking angry. I was, and I was th thinking about how like deeply like our bodies are criticized, like how judged we are for the way that we look. And I was just like, fuck off. Like, I don't, it, it like took me, it like put me so in my body that I, I kind of got it. I was just like, I don't really give a fuck right now. Like what my body looks like. I don't care like this, like. Well, yeah, I feel like you just go into like a primal state. You go into a primal state and I, and I mean, even like, like yesterday, like after the abortion was done, I was just like, I've like gained some weight. I don't really give a fuck like because you just feel like how powerful your body is and you're like oh, fuck off like fuck off like societal like beauty standards fuck off like anybody trying to tell you what they think 
is attractive and what they don't think is attractive like fuck off with the judgment of women i was just like in the space of like you guys have no idea how um do you need to take that hey eric okay honk had to take a phone call real quick um okay so wherever we were i was like enraged at men i felt very powerful in my body i still do um I also think it's interesting. It's like you go through the big A and then your body's like just fills with like a natural rage towards men. And then like Julia Fox takes two years off of dating men and she's like, I don't even like them anymore. Oh. And then like in the pandemic, when I was in my celibate era, I like got like wine drunk one night on Twitter and was like, I'm a fucking lesbian. And I'm like, it's interesting what happens to women's it's really mental and their bodies when... When they drink wine. When they drink wine and when they are um, free from men's semen. It's really, it was like an experience. It, it was like something I've obviously never experienced before. Um, it was not fun. It was incredibly painful. It was physically taxing. As soon as my boyfriend got home, I started crying. Not because I was like sad. No, you're like in pain. I, you're going through stuff. It was like, I, I like cried because I was so emotional over just like the whole process of like, I've been doing this all day long. I'm in so much pain. I just did exhausted this. Too. I was exhausted. I was like happy to see him. I was relieved. I was like so relieved. I'm so relieved. I was so relieved to be done with it. Yeah. Um, I couldn't go like, because I, I heard that the doing the vacuum abortion is far less painless than the pill. Mm -hmm. But they were like, when I went to get it done, they were like, yeah, we can do the vacuum one, but we're going to have to like reschedule you and you'll have to come in like another day and go to another facility. I was like, no, I can't go one more day being pregnant. You got to get us like, out of here. I, I got to get Clumpus. Oh. Yeah, you got to, we got to get Clumpus out of the fucking building. Like, can we make Clumpus 2024 shirts? Totally. Yes. Um, so yeah, it was. I was a mother for six weeks and five days. I have a picture of baby Clump and put it on my boyfriend's fridge to remind him of this is what happens when you raw dog, raw dog your fucking girlfriend. Yeah, and this is what happens when you don't Venmo for the other half of Plan B. Yeah, it really. Oh, Hermes. P has never been pregnant because she's never had sex. She's never had sex with a virgin loser. Virgin Sorry, loser. Virgin, virgin loser. loser. She's a virgin, virgin loser. loser. Look at her face. She's like not even moving. Yeah. She's a virgin loser. P is never had P. Are you a loser? Are you a loser? P. She's such a virgin loser. Bibini. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. P. Stop. No, this is Clumpus. Now this is this is the real Clumpus. Hi, hello, big. Oh, hi, for, big. you guys. Me, this me. is crazy. Me, me. <laughs> um, she's never been more relaxed. I know. So anyway, very spiritual experience. Very spiritual experience. Very exhausting experience. Emotional experience. Um, and it's interesting when like, hmm. Because people do do this, and I kind of saw a couple of comments even in our Patreon that were like this, where they're like, your body, your choice, but just remember, like, children are a blessing, blah, 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 and it's like, d d why say that? Like, it doesn't, it's your body, your choice, period. Mm -hmm. There is no, like, but if you, it's like, no, like, you either do or you don't, nothing else. Dude, I'm matters. glad that you had a good experience with your nurse because I went with my friend to get one in 2016 and the nurse was like, she was like, yeah, so I would like to schedule an abortion, like da 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 da. And then she was like, oh, really? You don't, you don't want to think about it at least? And I was like, bitch, you are a medical professional, please. I, it's so crazy. Like I, I even like started to explain myself to the nurse. I was like, it's just like not the right time. And she goes, you do not have to explain yourself to me. Mm -hmm. She was like, this is your choice like the only way I wouldn't give you the pill is if you were really considering keeping it because I wouldn't want to do that and she's like but you are sure you don't want to do this you That's don't that. have to explain anything and I was like mm -hmm. okay and it is this also weird thing where you feel like you need to justify why Be and you don't sis not you, to me you, not to Patreon not, not, not to, to anyone. anyone but it is it's so interesting to see people's you know, feedback on it where they're like, no, but it's like, you, you're gonna, you are gonna regret this later on. That's why I think it's healthy for you that you haven't aired it out publicly it's yet. True. And like, I know you do, like, it's true. you do love to share a lot. And that's like part of like 
what's beautiful about you, but I also think that there's beauty in not sharing everything. Yeah. I think it's healthy to have some things for yourself and in your relationship. And in an, in an event like this, where people have such strong opinions about what you do, you don't, I like don't need to read Just that right, right now. Just right now. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not yeah. talking about forever because yeah. I do agree with everything you're saying. And like, yeah. I do think it's healthy to be talked about, but I think just right now it, you it literally it hasn't been a week yet just right take your time take your space yeah 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 it is it's it's far too fresh but that's like why i feel okay sharing about it on here and it's blah blah, blah. but it is interesting people really do weigh in with like what they think and, and we'll be like i'm not pro i'm not pro-life but i am saying like having a child is a blessing and it's like then you're like you're, what you're saying this, is yeah you know like let people decide especially like with women who it's it's such a big it is such a big fucking deal and it is a big fucking deal it's in it, it it's like such a big fucking deal and then it's also like not and it's not like in this in the way of like it's if you make the decision to get one it's like not a big deal to do that you know what i mean but it's like a big deal in the way of like you're fucking it's a big deal because it's your body and you're putting yourself through something whether you keep it or not you are right. still yeah, 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 yeah having yeah. an experience that is going to affect you long term mentally physically whatever <laughs> yeah it dude also being pregnant was horrible and it made you so i sick. was so sick if I was prepared to have a child, I would have embraced that more. But the yeah. fact that I was like, I don't want to be pregnant right now, it, I feel like it's, swear to God, it made the, the sickness more intolerable. Because mm -hmm. I was just like, I don't even want this right now. Like, bleh, like get this out of me. Yeah. It was so intense. It was so intense. And it, like, woke my body up. And I hope to never have to experience that again. Um, and it's been also interesting reading about women... Like, who've been commenting in the Patreon being like, I've experienced this. Thank you for sharing about this. Like, it does help to hear, you know, thank you for sharing about this. Because I do think talking about these experiences really helps people. Mm -hmm. um, and it is cathartic. And it is very deeply personal. Mm -hmm. And it's, a, it's intimate. It's super intimate. And it's just like, it's such a wild thing to experience. I was reading the comments too, though, on Patreon. It was also like, I don't know, there was something... That was, again, I've never gone through this, but there's just also something like really beautiful and um, healing just for like me just to like read. Really? But yeah, I, I like got something out of that. And it was just like, oh, really? these that's are, interesting. These are, these are, yeah, I didn't even expect to be affected in that way, but I was just like, oh, wow. And, like just reading about everyone's different experience and then finding this, the similarities and like not to get on my douche shit. But that's also why I really am happy that we do have this like little community. Yeah. And we can talk about it on here. And I think it was also healthy for other people or like, you know, like healing for other people and the comments be like, oh yeah, this was what mine was like too. Yeah. And, oh yeah, this happened to me. And like, I don't know, it was just really sweet. It was really sweet. It was tender. And it's really real. And I know like, obviously like, we can laugh about it, I don't give a fuck. But like, it, it's so funny. I'm like, I don't know. I know that there's going to be jokes in there somewhere too. I just don't know where yet. Mm -hmm. But... It's also, I think, it is also in the way that we do. It's like another subject that, like, in a way, can be made light of. It's mm -hmm. like it's because it is so serious. Like, there are so many ways to also make fun of it. Yeah. Oh, of course. You know. Yeah. Um, and that's the beauty of shit like this. Anything that happens, anything like weirdly tragic that ever happens, you're you're always thinking like, but how can I make, make it, it funny? funny? Yeah. Where's the bit? Right. Um because i also feel like that injects like you know humanness into like very it makes it so you can tolerate these types of things yeah like, if yeah. you don't have laughter in situations that are seemingly without light yeah then it, sometimes it's yeah it's just too heavy right it is and it's hard to like move through it right okay, okay scarf and it's getting scarf okay. okay wait no because now i want you to have a viking beard okay, okay. um my little helmet head I'm loving this straight little bomb. But that that's kind of the tea with that. I mean, there is so much more to be said, but it's just like it was a lot it was truly a life-changing experience. Um I can't believe women have to go through that alone. I can't believe women also have to do that 
while they have small children at home. Well, and we were talking about, yeah, that, and then also about like for a man to cheat on you, for your partner at all to cheat on you while you are pregnant is like a special kind of evil. Because men have no idea. They have no fucking idea of what. And it's, and you know what? And it's not even just like that they don't have an idea, it's that they have no desire to have an idea. Our landlord texted us. Oh. You know what's scarier than getting an abortion? Him. Getting a text from our landlord. Oh, is the rug garbage? Stop spying on us. Like, shut the. Y'all, our landlord moved in right next door, and he's always up in our shit. And like, yeah, we'll take it to the fucking thing. It's fine. I'm gonna take it to the trash. I fucking can't with that time. Like, literally, and it's like, was I gonna bring a baby? around him you know, no because he keeps his windows boarded up and i don't understand why he does that the way that i'm like afraid that our apartment complex has been um bugged i mean he I probably mean, did he's been in here so many times no it is bugged because he knows certain things that we're like and then we keep getting his mail and he owes good he owes so much money to the irs and not even just the irs like credit cards oh fuck yeah or yeah we found him on facebook like under a different name what was the name again oh wait, i guess we can't yeah, yeah it's true but anyway, you guys, it's a, what a huge thing. Men have no idea what it's like. Men have no, no idea. I think we all just need to have more compassion, empathy, and patience for each other. I just, it fucking boggles, and it also, like, boggles my mind, too. And I, like, want to say this with sensitivity, but it's, like, difficult to right now because of the space that I'm in. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't fucking understand women that are pro-choice. And, like, men, I get it because you guys are retarded and have no idea what it's like to be inside of a woman's body. But, like, women that are pro-choice... Like, I, I get... I could logically understand it if you are super religious because a, re a religion it's all is, religious. Is, is mostly fear-based. Right. That's the thing. It's like, it's it's most religious conservatives that are pro-life. Um, I get that. But, but also, even if you are, I think, again, maybe this is weird to say, but like, I think it's honestly fine if you are pro-choice because that is your choice. But it's not fine when you start pushing that on other people. No, pro-choice is... Pro choice is. I mean, wait. Are you saying that pro life? That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, my yeah. bad. Pro life, but again, it it works with either thing. You can yeah. be pro choice, pro life, whatever the fuck. Yeah. But it's for you. Don't make it a blanket thing for but everyone. This, and this is the issue with what's going on right now with the overturning of Roe v. Wade is that like, it's conservatives being like, stop putting your beliefs on us. But it's like... But it's hypocritical because that's literally what they're doing. Because it is... You still have the option. And the thing is, is like, you still have the option to keep a child if you want. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, the, the women that want that don't want to get abortions are not going to get abortions. But the women who cannot do it right now, like, I don't... It's just... It's such a fucking no-brainer to me that this should be completely legal. It is so fucked up and, like, patriarchal and and weirdly you Ugly. know and and yeah like rooted in like religious fundamentalism and like white christianity it, like mm -hmm. it does come down to it's like it's like racist and classist first of all all of this mm -hmm. and it makes you fucking livid i know honey and that's on racist and classist but, mm, but i will I'm not i'm not gonna have a baby yeah Columbus is out that's so crazy you guys it was the craziest fucking experience um I am wearing these. Th I have been wearing diapers the past few days. Just yeah, she's padded up right now. Padded up, can't fuck for a little while. And the good news is, they're like, "Don't worry, you're gonna be fertile right after this, so don't have sex." Well, yeah, and also, I mean, you don't need to be having fucking sex if you're just getting a. Hey, abortion. guess guess what? The last thing I want to do is is be physically fucking touched. Yeah. <sighs> so all in all, you guys. Yeah, all in all, I gotta the, go throw a rug away. That's the abortion episode. That's the abortion episode. Uh huh. Is cutting shit in here. I don't have to say that because you all already see it. Um, but whatever you're going through, I hope you take care of yourself. If you I know that we don't judge you for whatever choice you make, unless you're polyamorous, then we judge you. But yo, prayers up to the person that we that wrote in that we went off on. My bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're poly, uh, we do judge you, but everything else in the world, we don't judge you for. Um, that's kind of that. Yeah. Okay. Love you guys. See ya. You were the brave one